This is how you're going to run the chromium test. So here you can see a couple of successful chromium tests here and here. Uh, and also one that was uh, with chromium but not successfully run. What you're going to do is you're going to use sodium borate. You're going to need an unknown and a known and a Bunsen burner. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a paper clip and you're going to kind of fold the paper clip into a fish hook right here. Just like that. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take that paper clip and put it into the flame to warm it up a little bit. And then we're going to dip that into the sodium borate, pick up some sodium borate, put that back into the flame. And you're going to see a lot of orange color from the sodium. We're going to melt that into a bead. Now, it generally speaking, takes a couple applications of this to get a big enough bead because it's going to shrink down a lot when it gets to the very end there and it actually melts. What we kind of want to get is one solid blob as best we can. Okay, so there's our bead. We're going to dip that into our chromium. Okay, make sure we get plenty. So now we have a green color to it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put that back in the flame. And as it heats, that's going to oxidize to chromate, which is going to turn yellow instead of green. Okay, so we can see that yellow color coming out on it. And when we're done, we can confirm that we have chromium in that particular thing. Uh, and if it doesn't change to the yellow color, that would be not chromium, that would be something else. Okay.